So hi everyone, I'm Yan Zhao from Obok University. Today I, <coughs> sorry, today I will present our work, Outlayer Detection for Streaming Task Assignment in Crowdsourcing. Here's the outline for today's presentation. Let's see the background and the motivation. Firstly, I'd like to introduce the concept of crowdsourcing. As we all know, crowdsourcing is to organize the crowd workers to do micro tasks in order to solve human intrinsic problems. In the last several years, we've seen a lot of applications about crowdsourcing, such as the Wikipedia, Yahoo Answer, and so on. Taking Amazon Mechanical Turks as a case, we show how the crowdsourcing works. Requesters can issue tasks to the AMT server. Workers are assigned to these tasks by the server and return their answers. We can see that crowdsourcing connects the requesters and workers on the internet. And one of the most important focuses in crowdsourcing is task assignment. Existing research on crowdsourcing has involved many techniques for task assignment in different application scenarios, which are based generally on the assumption that works are trusted and the tasks are meaningful. However, in practice, some workers and task requesters may be malicious. Such actors may complete tasks with low quality or may even sabotage tasks, or they may submit uh, in, uh, invalid task requests that cannot be finished by their deadlines or don't bring any rewards to workers. The malicious actors impact platforms and their workers and requesters negatively, therefore controlling the quality of workers and tasks is a major challenge in crowdsourcing. To address this challenge, we propose a crowdsourcing framework called Outlier Detection for Streaming Task Assignment that aims to enable effective task assignment in settings with malicious workers and task requesters. Before introducing our solution framework, I'll give the problem statement. Given a set of workers, each worker has a k-dimensional vector that describes features of the worker, like the completion quality of historical tasks, the error rate of completed tasks, and other statistical information derived from the historical data. The worker also has, a, has an arrival time and a deadline. And we are also given a set of tasks. Each with its uh, key prime dimensional feature uh, vector, where each dimension corresponds to a feature, like the task type, task pricing, task popularity, task difficulty, etc. Each work, each task also has an arrival time and a, and a deadline. Our problem is to compute the outlier scores for all the workers and the tasks and use this to find an optimal task assignment that maximizes the total utility of non-outlier workers and tasks. Will we next present our solutions? The solution framework consists of a malicious worker and invalid task detection component and a task assignment component. The arrivals of workers, as well as the arrivals of tasks at a crowdsourcing platform can be modeled as a streaming multivariate time series. Therefore, the first component models the detection of malicious workers and invalid tasks as a correlated time series at their detection problem. This component is equipped with a novel socially aware GAN outlier detector called SA GAN for short. 
more specifically, we designed two SE GANs, namely a distribution-based SE GAN and a reconstruction-based SE GAN. Where a socially aware loss function is used to achieve better reconstruction. We use the two SE GANs to train an autoencoder adversarially to learn the regular patterns of worker and task time series. And we can uh, calculate art layer scores for workers and tasks. In the following, I'll give more details about the SE GAN art layer detector. The framework has three components, data processing, model training, and art layer detection. The data, pro uh, the data processing component performs data normalization, negative sampling, and the segmentation, which are necessary for the model training. The negative sampling is to address the class imbalance problem, where the normal samples far exceed abnormal ones in outlier detection. The model training is based on two GANs using CN-based autoencoders as generators and the CNs as discriminators to capture the complex patterns and the distributions of time series. The first GAN is a distribution-based SE GAN, which includes the encoder as its generator and a distribution-based discriminator marked in green in this figure. The other GAN is a reconstruction-based SE GAN, including the whole autoencoder as its generator and a reconstruction-based discriminator. This part is marked in blue in this figure. We also uh, wish to notice that we introduce a socially aware goal, which is the common goal of the generator and the discriminator to improve their social welfare. The two GANs aim to learn the patterns and the distributions of time series. After the model training, the trained model is transferred to the art layer detector in the art layer detection component. When a new time series arrives, it's first normalized and segmented and then reconstructed by the art layer detector. Finally, the art layer score is computed based on the reconstruction error between the original time series and the reconstructed one. Getting the art layer scores of workers and tasks, we move on to the second component of our framework, that is task assignment. We propose a greedy algorithm based on degree reduction. The task assignment algorithm is based on a work task bipartite graph, where the nodes include workers and tasks. An edge between a worker and a task exists if their value times overlap. The, the weight of an edge is denoted by an outlier based utility. The greedy algorithm uses a degree reduction strategy, which consists of three main steps. The first step is to calculate the degree of each node. The second step is to find the node with the minimal degree, that is work three, and find its connecting node with the maximal weight, that is task four. Then the worker task matching, that is uh, work three and uh, task four, is added to task assignment A. Accordingly, the two nodes are removed and the corresponding degree is also updated. Based on this process, we can get the task assignment. When the current node with a minimal degree has no connecting nodes like task two, 
we just remove task two and update the degree. We repeat step two until the worker and the task cells are empty. Finally, the work and the task matches or assignments are obtained. Uh, well, next, we will show some experimental results. Due to the lack of benchmark for streaming crowdsourcing task assignment algorithms, we used two real multivariate time series data cells to simulate the streaming uh, crowdsourcing scenario. The consecutive points with multiple dimensions in time series data are good candidates for workers and tasks with multiple features, which appear continuously and in time sequences on crowdsourcing platforms. We evaluate the performance of the malicious workers and invalid task detection, as well as the task assignment. We adopt the commonly used metric F1 score to evaluate the accuracy of the baselines of and our proposed methods. From the results, we can see that our SE can learn which uses a learning rate to update the socially, uh, socially aware of degree achieves the highest F1 score. The other method, SA uh, uh, GAN random, uses a random strategy to update the socially aware uh, degree. It achieves a uh, competitive uh, accuracy in both data sets. When considering the total accuracy, SA GAN random shows the best performance. We can see that SA GANs can achieve high accuracy. For the performance of task assignment, although our degree reduction related methods generate less utility than the KM related methods, which achieve the optimal assignment, our methods are much faster than the KM methods, which demonstrates the superiority of our method for solving the streaming task assignment problem. For the work and the task assignment accuracy, the artillery based methods outperform others in most situations, showing the advantage of considering outlier detection in current sourcing. Okay, finally, I'd like to conclude our work. We propose a general efficient outlier detection a framework for streaming task assignment in crowdsourcing that aims to achieve high utility among normal workers and tasks, while considering outliers, including malicious workers and invalid tasks. Specifically, we propose an unsupervised outlier detection architecture that enables the capture of complex uh, patterns and uh, distributions in the uh, work and the task multivariate time series to detect malicious workers and invalid tasks. Besides, we propose a Grady algorithm based on degree reduction to assign tasks to suitable workers to adapt it to real streaming uh, crowdsourcing applications. An extensive empirical study offers evidence that the proposed framework can advance the state of the art in terms of outlier detection accuracy, assignment accuracy, and efficiency. Well, that's all of my presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Jan. Thank you. Um, we're a bit late, but we have a few minutes, so, so bear me with me, everyone. Um, if you have any questions, um, do you add them to the to, to the chat? So Jan, um, I guess what I was thinking when when, when reading the paper, and, and you also briefly mentioned it now again about uh, at the at the end um, when you said that, that that you evaluate the results empirically. So so you've you you have 
you view simulations rather than recruiting workers from crowdsourcing platforms. Is this correct? Yes. So, so how do you think the results would would apply in 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 the real world where we know, right, there's so many factors in task design and platform choice, and, and we've heard also choice of, 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 of metrics to interpret the results that, that affect the results. So how do you how do you think this this in the wild, crowdsourcing in the wild um, approach sits with, with simulation environments? Um, uh, uh, as I mentioned in my presentation, we use uh, two multivariate uh, time series data set to simulate our uh, cross-sourcing scenarios. Um, uh, we do that because the uh, consecutive uh, points in the time series um, with, um, uh, has many dimensions. Um, each of which um, denotes a feature. So we, simu we, we use this to simulate the, uh, the workers and uh, task uh, data, which appear uh, continuously and also in time sequences. Yes, there's. That's why we use the time series data to simulate our scenario. But because we lack the real data set, uh, currently what we can do is just to use some other data set to simulate our scenario. But in the future, if we have the suitable real data, we can, um, we can apply our framework in the real data. Okay, thank you very much.